My name is Samara the Pussy Poet, and it's P-V-S-S-Y, the V is for vagina. If you don't eat pussy, we can't be friends, period. I want to be touched like a lady and fucked like a bitch. And I want to be twerking as I'm throwing it back and calling you daddy and shit. And I want slow fingers tracing and caressing down my spine as your tongue flick my ear. You repeating this pussy is mine. And then you flip me on my back and you kiss every inch of me. Your fingers and my juices, they're flicking and plucking. So I'm coming and oh, baby. Fuck me like a bitch, but touch me like a lady. I want your words to dance circles in my head like your tongue flicks this clit in bed. And I want fingers slowly intertwined as you look me in my eyes and nibble on my neck with bites so soft. I'm so slippery at my opening and my soul takes off and you... Rub my entirety slowly with your strong hands and we kiss as you touch me like a lady as you fuck me like a bitch. So forceful, so tasty. Our tongues connect and I feel your hand wrap slowly around my neck and I moan and look you right in your eyes until you give me my dick. Cause you know that shit mind free arm around my waist and onto your lap. My body slides and I'm sitting on you Indian style. I grind my hips slow, pussy wet and tight around you. I hear your low groans and I tell you fuck me harder and you dig into me deep and daddy, daddy, I'm gonna come if you keep sliding against these walls on 80. You fucking me like a bitch. You touching me like a lady, but Right when I feel my body get ready, I'm laying down again. Oh, so slow and so steady. But my eyes closed so tight, I didn't even see you making your way to eat this pussy. And I gasp at the feel of your warm breath against me. You suckle in my spot so good, I get antsy like, ooh. And my body starts to tremble and my body starts to shake as I cry out to the heavens and I squirt on your face. And this pussy is water. And baby, that is your potion, but please do not drown. I need you to swim in this ocean as your fingers dance around my clit and they play and they play into the spoke, until the potion sprays and you say, oh, and you get a taste. Go faster, baby. Pick up the pace. But wait, because I'm not trying to love you. Just sit your ass down. Let me bounce on it and fuck you. But don't touch me because I can spread my own cheeks as I sit down on you slow and you slide into me deep. Don't touch me because I could bring it up to the tip. Pussy queefs as I sit back down to the balls, dick all in my walls. Don't touch me. As I bring it around and you hear the sweet sound of the harmonies that I sing as I turn around and face you with the dick still in. Don't touch me. As I wrap my arms around you for support and I sway slay and nay as I ride that horse because I'm the beast. Ain't no need to slow down when I go down I feast on your pre-cum. Play with my pussy till we come. Tilt my head back. I play with your ball sack and suck the soul right out your dick hole. And then we lay there. In each other's eyes, we stare. We are body to body. We are all cuddled up. This is sweet relaxation after making rough love. And with my head on your chest, I'm thinking this is the best. And I can't wait for the next time we get to have some rough sex. Peace. Woo! Yeah, I don't want to clap. I don't, Yo. We need some uh, applause. Yo. Sound effects. Dwayne, hook it up. I'm not gonna, it up. I didn't mean to laugh. I'm only laughing because you said when I gasped, I heard many go... <laughs> No, yeah. so you don't understand. So she, when she was when like, you said queef, I was like, like, like a, okay, <laughs> you know, out the pussy. Mm-hmm. When she was, it just that had me like that I was, was super dope, grinding. Yeah, well, also to remember that you see the you, cadence, um, all of it. How long ago did you write that? Twenty seventeen, bitch. That's why no, you I lied. Twenty sixteen. When you write new shit, do you have to look at your phone? No, I don't write in my phone. Well, how do you? Yeah, so how do you write? And when did you start? The poetry like this like were you like writing a, this? Like, like this were you writing nigga poetry? in jail no <laughs> that's how I be getting my good shit I don't know I hate you I have in the past it's, it's okay they out now you look she's like it's I, okay. all right well you know mine too bop bop that's what they was <laughs> <laughs> but it no was when did you start writing erotic poetry and did it come did you were you inspired by books or another poet yeah so when I was in middle school oh god We all have the same story. (laughs) Everybody was reading Zane books. Zane books. Everybody was reading Zane books and Tanya Reynolds, right? Yeah. So by the time that I would want to actually pick the book up and see what the hell was going on, all the pages would be folded down that had the sex parts in it. (laughs) Nobody was reading the actual books. They were just reading the sex parts. And as I'm reading through this shit, I'm like, okay. I can do better than this. I was a whole virgin at that point. Let me also add that. Oh, wow. Because I know people, 
some people, you know. Oh, yeah, I was called a hoe before I was having sex. They got started early. Having sex. We're still, like, sexual beings. We just maybe haven't navigated that way. Like, a lot of virgins listen to the show. Well, yeah, but outside of I even Zane, I used to sneak to watch Bliss when it came on TV. Who and was I, I watching? I don't, I don't even, even remember what sex. TV show that was. Real sex. And then, then you had Uncut Cat on House. BAT. Like, we got to see it even when we weren't fucking. So you said you read these. You were still a virgin, but then you started to write your own? Yeah, I'm like, this This is not it. Like, if this is what's exciting you, <laughs> let me put my little spin on this, and I'm going to excite you double time. And mm. that's what I started doing. When I started writing erotic poetry, it was nothing but rewrites of the shit that I was seeing in the books. Ah. It's because I knew, no no shade to Zane or to any of the other erotica You could authors. shade her. She ain't come on our show twice. We scheduled with her. That's true. She oh. did. Yeah. Oh, well, oh yeah. So she was the I, only no, guest that's no on the show. No shade still, you know, because okay. we're in the same and field. And on the show. <laughs> we're we're <laughs> in the same field, you know. I wouldn't I wouldn't do that. Of course. But um, that's us, not her. I just knew from then, like this. This is not it. I'm better than this. I can be better than this. I will be better than this. So that's what it turned into being. Once stuff like Valentine's Day started happening, people had their little boyfriends, girlfriends, anniversaries coming up, and all that shit. Then it was. Yo, Juice, can you... Nah. You was writing cards for people? I was writing poems. Hallmark! Right? You know, nah, but that's what that's when you get it blank. So it's they like would the get mahogany. The, they would get the cute blank mm-hmm. cards inside. No, I, I and was you definitely would... writing on loose leaf paper. Oh! And printer paper. Did you have like... Or oh, whatever construction paper was there in the art class. Oh, shit. Has your te- what, did your teacher ever find you writing shit like that? Yeah. Did you? And there was a discussion with my mother. Oh, that's what I was gonna get to. She was a pussy poet before I was, <laughs> so there's really? there's no. Th- my mom knows fully and extensively everything that I do. 